Okay, so I'm going to do a quick review of Malba's Animation's Horse Animset Pro, which is a full riding system. It's much more than just a bunch of animations and some horses and so on. Um, it's actually a full riding system. You can ride pretty much any animal using this system. It's really easy to set up Malba's other animals. Um, he has a whole load of them, and you'll see some of them in the uh, in this video that's being played at the moment. So, for example, he has a dragon, and he has some uh, wild animals and things like that. But it's a full controller as well, so you can see him drawing weapons and things here um, and it has a full AI for the animals as well so it's a really complete system and I thought I'd just give it a go and see what it looks like because I bought it a long time ago and have never actually loaded it up so this is the first time that I'm going to play with it okay so I've loaded up the demo scenes for the horse and set pro uh, so let's start with the playground and we'll play um, I have had a very quick play around with this, but just to get an initial feel for it, um, there is a basic first person, third person controller for your character. And then if you run up to a horse and press F, you can mount the horse. So let's have a look. This is about as much as I've done so far. Uh, let's start with some slopes here. Well, yep. Okay, that's all right. The camera is independent of the movement controls it, it's a little weird when you when you move the horse the camera does not move you have to move the camera as well but the position of the camera affects how the horse moves um, I'm sure I'll get used to it I was able to move in the air there um, I wonder if I can turn that off in the scripts okay so going up that one was okay let's try going up this one oh that uh, oh, oh yeah okay so it doesn't like steep slopes that I would consider that a bug all right what's down here let's see if we can sprint shift oh, there we go we're going faster okay I think this controller would be a lot better if I wasn't on the keyboard um, if I was using like an Xbox controller or something like that I think it would feel much more natural um, than on the keyboard. I think that's what my problem is. Okay, so that's like an automatic jump. What happens here? E. Okay, so the horse is going to eat. Alright. And over here, presumably we will... Oops, let's back up. Yep, drink. Okay, good. I wonder if this is if it works with an Xbox controller. Uh, I don't know. Okay, what's this? Gravity changer. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's all right. And this camera angle's okay too. Uh, oh, but no. When I move behind, that get ah. That was very strange on the camera. But then it's always difficult when when you're changing gravity. What do you do with the cameras? Let's have a look at the weapons. So I've drawn a bow, uh, attack with one, doesn't do anything. Okay, right click, aim, or draw, I don't seem to be aiming, okay. I hit left click to fire, ah, hold draws the bell, bow back, there we go, excellent. Alright, let's try that one over there, aim, that's dead centre again, ah, oh. Okay, so I've got it aimed, and as I get to the target, it pulls it to the center of the target. So that's no good, because I'm using a bow. Yeah, you see, it, it's not going to hit where I'm aiming. Um, but I can't aim high. See, I'm, I'm holding there. As it comes on, it just snaps to the bottom. So I can't aim high. It's always going to hit low. That's not very good. Again, presumably I can change that in the controls. What are the other weapons? A sword, okay. Right button for the left and left button for the right. Okay, other way around, sorry. Um, all right, and the next one. Oh, that's a pistol. All right, what does this do? Oh, that snaps as well. But it's, it, it's not so bad there because the pistol is going to shoot where you aim. 
Yeah, and you get dead centre every time. So that's kind of an aim assist, whereas with the bow, it's more of a handicap. Okay, let's put that weapon away. All right. What else we've got? We've got moving platforms. I can guess I can imagine what happens all there. What's that? Teleporter pool. Teleporter planet. Teleporter high platform. Hey! Whoa! Ah! I'm going to die! I'm going to die! Oh, damage is not turned on. Okay, that's good. Gravity changer. Let's try this. Okay, so I'm walking up the wall. And oh, oh, there's a pool. All right, I can jump, I'll jump in the water. I went under for a bit, but now I'm swimming. Okay, and the animation under the water seems to have changed. Oh, there we go. We can see it better now. Yeah, it's a not a running animation, is it? Okay, so let's. Oh, it's that camera and thing again. All right, so if I go underneath, what happens here? Oh, it looks pretty good. Um, okay, I don't want to go up there. That's the wrong side. Where's the, where's the arena? There it is. I can see the top of the gravity thing. Okay, well, if damage is not turned on, I can just jump off the edge here, can't I? Whee! Oh, I'm going to hit the... <laughs> Oh, it slid. Okay, that might, I wonder if that's deliberate. Uh, probably not. Um, uh, all right. So what else have we got to do here? What was that teleport planet thing over there? Okay, so the jump is reasonable. Teleport planet. Oh, where am I? Oh, oh, okay. So I'm on a, a tiny, tiny little planet. So it's just another form of gravity change. Okay, good. All right, I think that's enough of that one. Let's stop there. I'm sorry, I didn't really mean to give you that view, but there you go. Um, FPS. Presumably first person. Okay, yep, I'm in first person. Hit F to mount. Oh, I no mount there. I just kind of jumped up. And then I can run around. First man, same problem with the camera. I'm looking over there. And I'm now completely lost as to where I'm looking. And I'm sure I would get used to it. And I'm sure that it would be better with a uh, controller. So AI sample, what's this one do? Okay, oh, all right. Now I'm not controlling this. I'm not touching the keyboard or the mouse here. And it looks like the AI is running a route and automatically jumping when it hit comes to the fences there. The camera is oh, it's another horse there. The camera is just sticking in the same place. So when the horse turns, it means the camera is in a weird spot. I don't like that. Um, might be just something that you need to get used to. It might be that you'd be better off with a different camera controller. Um, I kind of like Uti's camera controller. That's pretty good and might work well with this. Um, okay, weapons. I do have weapons though. So, oh, I've got an axe now. Okay, and five is the bow. Okay, so this is gonna. Now that time it went hard enough. Oh gosh. Okay, so I can understand why he's done that aim assist, actually. It makes sense here, because I'm not controlling the horse. Ah! But there... Um, well, I suppose the horse was turning, so... I seem to be out of ammo. Okay, number six. And okay, yeah. So it does make sense, that aim assist. Thing, um, on these um, I think the lesson is don't use the bow when you're shooting a long way um, alright I skipped over the mobile one I'm just going to assume it's optimizations um, so let's have a look at point and click alright point click ok go over to the eat and it eats ok fairly sensible um, presumably if I go down here yeah, drink. I'm going to skip the sleep. It will just go to sleep. Okay, what happens if I click there? 
Okay, so we just got normal nav mesh animation here by the looks of it. That was a strange leap off. Uh, let's see, how do we get up there? Is that slope going to be too steep for it? Nope, looks okay. The IK looks reasonably good as well. I'm not seeing any problems. What happens if I click down there now? Whoa! I wonder why he jumped that way and then went round. The vagaries of nav mesh, I guess. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft horses. Cool. After mount. No, I don't seem to be able to mount. Oh, well, ah, I see. I'm controlling the horse directly. <laughs> All right, that's cute. Um, I guess it's just showing the variety of animals that you can work with uh what else we got wagon there you go wagon all right this oh all right. So a bunch of wagons now that was just me hitting the wrong key i was going to complain about the controller again but that was me hitting the wrong key let's try this one what <laughs> i i hit f um <laughs> And that wagon just ran away. <laughs> that was... Whoa! Oh, what's going on? Disclaimer. The wagon's controller is based on Unity Wheels components, which are very unstable. They can cause unwanted behaviours from time to time. Okay, I guess that's what we just witnessed. I don't think me hitting F had anything to do with it. Um... The solution is a basic... This solution is a basic one. It's not recommended for production. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, no colliders on the wagon. How do I get on the wagon? I don't seem to be able to get on the wagon. Oh, oh, there. You're going to be in just the right spot. Okay. And now I'm pulling the wagon. That's pretty cool. Um, got no reins. Got no harness on the horse. But I am pulling the wagon. Uh, unlike that other one, which was doing its own thing. And can I sprint? Yep. So my daughter is doing... Whoa! Okay. My daughter is doing um, the Oregon Trail right now. I may have a British accent, but my kids are in school here in the States. So um, they're doing Oregon Trail. I could probably uh, knock something together for her for this. With this. Whoa! Okay, so that's that slopes thing again. Okay. All right, what happens if I draw my weapon? It's exactly the same as if I was riding it. Okay, fair enough. All right. Yep, that looks pretty good. Shame it says don't use it. Uh, call horse. Okay. Where's my horse? I have to call the horse. Oh, there he is. He's coming. Ow! He hit me. <laughs> but then I can mount him. Okay, so that's, that's just... Um, that's just showing off some of the AI that we saw earlier on when it wasn't controlling it. Hit F. Yeah, he comes. If I keep running, we'll... oh, he's stuck. I got him stuck. <laughs> okay, poor horsey he can't get to me. Well, if I stand there, can I mount it over the thing? Yay! I can walk through the fence and mount it. <laughs> And now what happens if I run over here without jumping? He jumps automatically. All right. All right. So that was a, a little bit buggy as well. Uh, that's all of them except mobile. So that's a, it's a pretty good asset. The video here is one from the publisher. And this is his dragon. And as you can see, you can ride the dragon. And uh, what else is he going to do here? Uh, he's going to go and ride an ostrich. Go on, ride the ostrich. Go on. Yes, go on. Go on. <laughs> hey. All right, excellent. So you can ride an ostrich. Um, so one of the things that uh, Malbus says about this asset is you can ride any uh, animal. And so you're seeing quite a few different animals here. Presumably, if we watch the whole of this video, we'll see him riding them all. And there's some tutorials on YouTube about how you... Uh, that's not how you ride a camel. That's not in the right place. Uh, that's very uncomfortable. Anyway, um, the uh, there's tutorials for how you can rig... Uh, different animals for uh, for riding and so on so that's pretty good um what do i think uh 
Well, it's sixty dollars normally, and there's a couple of really bad bugs in there. Um, the uh, the wagon thing. No, well, you can't hold the wagon thing. It does say it's not production use, so fair enough. But the slopes that was really bad. Um, I got the horse stuck uh, with the AI quite easily. Um, I wouldn't expect those kind of things in uh, in a sixty dollar asset. That said, there's a lot more work than sixty dollars in it. So if I was going to build it myself, um, it would cost me a lot more than sixty dollars. Right now, it's thirty dollars in the in the um, in the sale. Obviously, makes it much more attractive. I hope nobody has arachnophobia. Um, let me just uh, turn it over to the asset store page. Um, um, at thirty dollars, yeah, it's really good. If you need a animated horse riding system or a dragon riding system or something, um, sixty dollars is pretty good. I haven't seen anything else in the store at that price. Um, you can avoid those bugs with some careful coding um, uh, or a careful design, I should say, um, and hopefully they'll get fixed in future patches as well. Uh, this has been maintained for a long time. Uh, Malbas is pretty diligent with that kind of thing. So one would hope that he'll fix those at some point. So, um, yeah, great asset. Decide for yourself whether those bugs are killer bugs or not. Um, and I'll see what I do with this in the future. Cheers. Bye-bye.